Okay, I will say it right now. I feel absolutely terrible about this. For years and years and years, we have been trying to figure out how to have proper custom icons for in-game, um, for passing and changing players and stuff. And I kind of stayed out of the whole conversation about it. I feel like a dick about it, just because all of a sudden I pick up a DualShock 4 and now I have to have custom icons. So what do I do? I figure it out in five minutes. <laughs> and I feel like such a dick about this, I really do. But I'm guessing it's good because at least I have it down and I can tell you guys how to do it. Um, in the past, the only way to really do this properly was to use text mod. And as we know, I hate text mod with a passion, so... Um, Yay, I fixed it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I, I I really do feel like a dick about it, but um, hopefully I made it up to you by doing that little tutorial on how to do this yourself. Um, then you can make whatever custom uh, icons you please. So yeah, um, that's basically what this is about, is just about custom icons. Now... <sighs> As for the DS4, I talked a little bit about this in the NLC podcast, if you guys listen to that at all. Um, I kind of came to the conclusion, well, during the NLC podcast this past week, I sat down and while we were recording, I actually played nothing but NBA Live 10 on the PS3 with the DualShock 4, because the DualShock 4 does work with some PS3 games. And thankfully, uh, NBA Live 10 was one of them. And... I gotta say, same as 2K, I am still having an absolute blast with these icons. I they not with these icons with this controller. Um, it works so well, but I came to the conclusion during the podcast that I think it only works so well because uh, the basketball games have changed over. For, if you think back to NBA Live 10, or NBA Live 10, uh, NBA Live 2004, the old NBA Live games. Um, so much more was done with the face buttons when we had the split shoot and uh, layup buttons when we had uh, the different rebounding options in NBA Live 2005 whereas now most everything is done on the sticks which is fine that's fantastic I mean it's not fantastic that Kelly Olynyk can't make that damn shot but it, it's fine that you know basketball games have moved <coughs> excuse me mm. have moved over from being so face button oriented to only using the sticks and the triggers really because I mean if you look at it with 2k I can do an entire possession pass the ball around and only use the triggers and the sticks and have a shot of a dunk um, dribble moves pass the ball around I'll do it right now oh no I won't I mean it is fancy pass but you can still just play an entire possession only using the sticks and the triggers and those are, the, in my opinion, the best two features about this controller are the sticks and the tr and the triggers. So I don't know. I guess uh, I guess it's a good thing. And we don't know NBA Live 14's um, control scheme yet, so there's not much I can really speak on about that. Uh, you know, I, hopefully they use triggers and sticks because that's the best part about um, this controller. But also, I really hope that they use. Uh, I wouldn't mind them going back to the live 2005 way of doing it with the split rebound animations and, or options, I should say, and uh, whatever stuff you can do in the face buttons, <laughs> split dunk and shoot buttons. I miss it. I do. I don't care. And the shot stick is great and everything, but it's always good to have an alternative. And I'm not going to get into an NBA Live 14 rant right now. That's the last thing you guys need. Two weeks away. You guys are going to be seeing plenty of that freaking game from me when the damn thing comes out. Can't believe we're two weeks away. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video um, to say that the PS3 icons have been released. I hope you guys enjoy them. And that is basically it. So, let's wrap this quarter up and we'll call it a day. Um, there's not going to be much in the way of regular um, stuff, videos coming from this channel uh, right now. Really busy with school, leading up to into the PS4 and everything. Um, I don't have any series going on, which is you know by design. I have stuff to do, <laughs> so uh, just you know, I'm still around. I'm not going to leave you guys. I'm not banding you. Um, I'm also going to be trying to retool all of my tutorials, how they're structured and everything. So um, you have that to look forward to. Too. Get that out, Kelly. Say nay. 
Ah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video, and I will see you in the next one. Ah. Should have gone that second block.